and welcome to Revive Node. No, this is not Antonio. My name is Josh and today at Revive Node, we will show you how to set up a custom IP for your Minecraft server. Before we begin, if you'd like a very straightforward, simpler setup, you can purchase a dedicated IP. A dedicated IP allows you to have Minecraft's default port. By default, Revive Node clients who utilize the extreme service receive a free dedicated IP along with their plan. If you purchase a premium service, you can purchase the dedicated IP add-on. It is possible to set up a custom IP without a dedicated IP. You can use an SRV record, but we'll touch upon that later. First, let's create an A record. We'll be purchasing a domain with Namecheap. Namecheap is a domain provider, simply said. Go to the website namecheap.com, search up your domain and purchase it. After, go to account, then dashboard, and click manage on your domain. Go to advanced DNS and create a new A record. For custom IPs, you can have a variety of choices. If you want an IP such as play.revivehost.net, set your host entry to play. After, set your value entry to the server's IP address. Do note that the 25565 port is not included within the IP address value, just the value of the address. For the TTL entry, you can leave that as automatic. The record may take a few minutes up to an hour to begin working and you will be left with a custom IP. Additional note, if you want an IP such as revivehost.net without the play or any other prefix in front, set your host entry to the at symbol. This will make your custom IP something like revivehost.net without any prefixes at the front. Now, if you do not have a dedicated IP, don't fret. You can still create a custom IP with a regular IP address. Repeat the same steps without using the purchase of a dedicated IP. Add a new record, but this time click SRV record. There's no host entry as you can see. For the value entry, put underscore Minecraft. For the protocol entry, put underscore TCP. For the priority entry, set it to zero. And for the weight entry, set it to zero. For the port entry, put your Minecraft server port. Finally, for your target, type play.yourdomain. It is crucial that you include the dots at the end of your domain. For example, this server's target entry would be play.revivehost. Remember, the your domain entry would be the domain you purchased. Make sure you include the dot after. For the TTL entry, you can set as automatic and the record may take a few minutes up to an hour to begin working and you'll be left with a custom IP. Feel free to open a ticket on Discord or Billing if you have any problems, concerns, or questions. If you'd like to see other topics and tutorials, do provide your ideas and we'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you for choosing Revive Node. My name is Josh and have an amazing day.